Howdy chaps and welcome back to Graham's Restorations. We're back. We've been working on the uh, 50k ute for the last couple of videos. Believe it or not, the last video where I changed the, changed the door on the ute, that was actually my 200th episode on my channel. Uh, that is unbelievable milestone. But I promise we'll be back. We're on the XD. It's been a long wait, but we are back on the XD and we are changing the roof skin. This one is absolutely buggered and I will show you what I've been up to after this. Right, and here we go. Now, you might go, hey, while you're replacing the roof, it's not that bad. It is actually that bad. Um, it probably won't pick it up on camera, but it is horrifically dented. Maybe if I go under here, you'll be able to see all of the dents in the roof skin it is horrifying under here um, the owner of the car has managed to get a new old stock roof skin which I believe he had to pay an arm and leg for and maybe his other arm and his other leg so we're now just drilling out the spot welds it should be fairly straightforward unfortunately when it comes to these Falcons the roof skin sits in the gutter but there's a special machine machine when they welded these together which is basically two rollers and on it is as they roll they weld so there's no spot welds that drill, drill out through there so hard to see but it's like a groove uh, so what we're going to do is just grind along here with an angle grinder and cut the roof skin off and then I'll belt sand the remnants out and then when it goes to putting the new one off we'll use panel bond which is a you know pretty much what holds 90% of most modern cars together with um, because on a modern car you'll find that the roof skin is glued on um, and only a few minor spot welds so we're gonna use panel bond the 3m stuff which is really good industrial standard basically through the edges of the gutter when it comes time and we'll just redo the plug welds across the front and back and through here and this should be fairly straightforward I have another buddy I worked with in a crash shop he is an absolute whip at metal finishing the roof skin had the new one had a slight dent probably from kicking around for the last 30 30 plus years he is going to metal finish out any dents that are in the roof skin so that when this goes on it is absolutely Mickey Mouse perfect straight and there's no issues side note um, I have been painting <laughs> my FG parts. I got a new spray gun, yet another one. I don't know what brand this is. I I Iltaco, whatever it is. But no words can describe how much, how well this $150 spray gun sprays. It is amazing. It's probably better than the snap-on one that I had. I was like, wow, um, incredible. I'll show you because these are the, this is the other guard and the mirror cover for the Ute. There will be some wind. virtually no trash in the mirror cover and it is super smooth um, there is a bit of trash in the guard uh, but it is also really smooth hardly any orange peel at all so that's a, a wicked bonus and we have our brand spanking new Taiwanese bonnet I know a few people don't think much of them but value for money I actually think they're really really good and you can't can't beat the value for money. A standard genuine bonnet is I think probably three times the price of one of those and not miles better, only a little bit better. But enough of that, we're gonna try and get this roof skin off. Basically it's just spot welds across there but I might just just cut it off roughly for the short term. It will be way quicker. So if I just gingerly run a blade through here, long here, and across the front of here. I actually was like when I was chiseling out this corner there was a horrifying amount of rust coming out of there I was like Ugh. it's 
So I wouldn't be surprised if there's some hidden rust behind the roof skin that I may need to fix. But uh, keep your beady eyes peeled, this should be a good one.
Look at the rust. Uh, it's funny, you wouldn't have known that was there if we weren't taking the roof off because it hadn't rusted out the outer skin. We got one out of four corners is good. Well, we're starting to go. But, um, hmm. Surprisingly, there isn't much to these roofs. So you got your, um, well, realistically, that's the roof skin right there that's welded to that. And that's just the underframe. <laughs> that's the underframe, and then there's this corner that sits in here, and then another corner there. So, they're pretty, uh, pretty uh, simple when they when you come to it incredible oh, it's actually rusted through there as well we're gonna go to a wreckers tomorrow morning and potentially see if we can chop out some bits from another car you know just zip through there and there and see if we can get some better sections I mean it, I mean ultimately that is the faster way to do it but if push comes to shove I'll just have to make sections but if we can get them it is easier yeah, you can see this roof was not long for this world. Right there, it's starting to go all the way along that front edge. This one isn't gone here, but it's gone here. It all, um, I was going to say, as I was giving it a light wire wheel, all I could smell was like rat urine. I was like, oh! because this whole roof, when it took the roof lining out, the whole roof was full of like a rat's nest. Yeah, look at that. It's supposed to be metal right here, sort of, in this region. Crimey. Incredible. And it was only a little bit of rust there, but I suppose if you started cutting it out, you would have gone, oh, this gets bigger. So all I gotta do is get this lip out probably by grinding it with a grinder I'd imagine and then that's done I'll probably once this is all repaired before the new roof goes on I'll probably coat all of this with some heavy-duty anti-rust because it's starting to I if I did this oh yeah Yeah, we're starting to go too. It's not that bad, but obviously whatever coating they put on there, we're starting to lift. So, oh, it's this. I wish this was a smell I cam because the smell that's on this is just ugh, vile. Hell, it could have been the rat urine that was, you know, because it's acidic. Could have been um, aiding to the rust problem. But at least when this is done, we'll know that the roof is spotless. The whole car will be rust free. Well, for a little while anyway. Um, yeah, so I'll catch you up in a second. Right, chaps. Well, this video is actually going to be done over a few days because I worked out after doing uh, the coupe parcel shelf. If I kept doing a video every single day by the time the fourth one came along, ain't nobody interested anymore. So if I try and match all of my uh, work into one video I think that'll work much better and make people a lot happier now I have been to you pull it or your local pick and pull yard you know same sort of thing and I have got some sections because these ones are particularly bad also while I was nosing around in this pillar I found the old wiring from when this car used to be a police car still you know left inside the pillars interesting stuff um, so I chopped up an XF Ute I believe um, I'll put up some photos of it looking a little sad once I was done with it and and I chopped up an XF sedan um, as you could tell the sedan was quite rusty but after an exploratory cut or two I noticed that the piece that I actually needed which is inside there I mean it's a little rusty uh, but it was surprisingly solid where I actually needed it so that's a rear cut from the back left corner of a sedan and these are the two front cuts from another ute um, interesting to note that this either they either did on all XFs but 
this one's got extra braces in this roof which is kind of weird so there's an extra plate that goes under here there's an extra plate here that this XD doesn't actually have which in my opinion would technically make that XF quite a bit stronger in the frame and less likely to you know twist and contort because this isn't actually um, there isn't actually much to this quite surprising really so I'll take this section over the back and show you why I bought a rusty section which oh and I got this piece too um, so this this car's had a bonnet like flip up and let go at some point so um, all of this is areas damaged and packed full of bog so I was able to cut out a perfectly straight and original piece that I'll put in there probably not in this uh, video but another time but that's a really good one you can buy them for rare spares but they're not as good as an original piece as you probably well know so over here if you look here totally gone but when you go so sort it's of totally gone and then it's fine this one it's fine and then totally gone so it will take a bit of uh, tab A to part B but at least I'll get a nice original piece uh, back in the hole which is incredible that I was actually managed to do that um, so what I'm just going to do on the bench in a minute I'm just going to pick all these part these parts apart into their individual pieces um, and split them down into the bits that I actually need and then repair them and then put them into the car uh, so that's where I'm up to I'll probably start with this one I got myself a nice uh, total tool stool do you know we found out as we were buying the stuff that you actually earn money at total tools that we didn't even know so we, had a, <laughs> we actually managed to get a good bargain on this stuff because we actually built up quite a bit of money we didn't even realize it they, they don't tell you that interestingly enough well they do but they're not that as vocal about it as they should be but yeah so I'm gonna sit here under some sunlight and listen to some tunes and I'm gonna pick it all apart and catch you up in a brief second I didn't buy this section because I'm just gonna put a little piece in here and that's no issues but it was good to be able to get some original pieces even if they looked um, bad on the outside the inside was actually really good and side note the rear windscreen of one of these old Falcons really 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 strong and incredibly flexible I got into that car and I kicked the living snot out of that window it didn't break and it just went straight out so don't worry about flexing them I mean do worry a little bit don't break the things but if you need to get your rear window out just hop in lay on the back seat and just kick the window out it didn't actually take much effort at all but you can't do it with the front because the front window is bonded in but the rear windows have a seal so yeah that's what I'm gonna do in a minute and pick all this stuff apart and have our new bits so we're gonna obviously put a small section here I gotta be very careful because there isn't actually there isn't much to the front of this so I might even have to put a brace in it before I chop some bits out but we'll just have to play it by ear and be very careful I did start um, separating off the old roof skin and get it back down to ready for the next one to go on but yes, enough chit chat, I'll catch you up in a second. So chaps, I've been uh, slowly chipping away at everything, slowly revealing things. Um, wow, this side, <laughs> it almost rusted through. This was the top piece for this one. Um, you'd go, hey, there was no rust there, it was absolutely spotless. You turn it over, and wowza, it was moments away, moments away from being rusted through. And this is now, the third or fourth one of these that I've hacked open and they've looked like that about ready to rust through so I'm starting to think maybe it's a design flaw in them I'm gonna keep this because it's still useful if somebody's rusted out around the front top left section of their windscreen I mean it's still good right there it's just a bit rusty there but definitely not throwing that away that'll be a you never know when somebody may be like oh god I want that um, so also we will wander over here I've also been doing other things in between everything the bonnet is painted yeah some trash in it but 
um, well not the bonnet the underside of the bonnet is painted and looks fairly good good enough for the underside of a bonnet anyway and we have this piece this I picked out of that top corner you might go why did you pay money for that well think about the time saved in having to manufacture all these shapes and it's just so much easier just to put a little piece in trim it and then done I'm gonna probably go across there and put that whole top section in because it's pretty well stuffed to ruined interesting to note oh no that's the roof skin never mind I was wondering why this was shorter on this one but no that's actually the roof skin that comes down further but we got this section ready to go I mean look how rusty that was it's fascinating eh? this one rusted from the inside out this car rusted from the outside in useless trivia um, so we're making good progress it's just time consuming because you've got to sit there and drill out and grind out all the spot welds and just separate it all into its individual parts so this one still heavy these have got some I don't know if it was a ute or it was a XF related thing but they've got so much more strength in the roof than the XDs there's heaps of extra bits that they've slapped in here and made and done all sorts of stuff so we put this up here some of it's still the same like the bits I need are still the same so this piece is that piece that's going to go in um, I'll probably have to do a section I'll have to take a section off the gutter I reckon to be able to put that in I reckon or I might better section in I will figure that as I go but we're making good progress but if you look at it right so this one's got an extra piece welded in here that's not there this has got well first off it's got this huge honking one that goes sort of in here which isn't there and then there's this other one which sits under I think that's on the inside so unless it's an XF only thing or it's an XF Ute thing but you must say that they did some redesigning of the roofs and the later um, X series Falcons are a hell of a lot stronger than the early ones I'd much prefer to have a crash in this one than this one there isn't much here you got this top piece which goes across and it's literally just one layer right there and then the roof skin is just welded here and it just sits on top of that and then you got this corner and then this piece it's only like three bits to this whole corner that's um, a little bit terrifying and of course you got nothing between here or here well at least you know theoretically if you were gonna if you were restoring one of these you know that you're probably unlikely to get any rust from here to here unless you're incredibly unlucky because there's a fair bit of room between the roof skin and the pillar and there's nothing between here and here so that's something I mean not many people get to see these cars with the roof skins off anymore um, so and there's a lot of people restoring these cars so at least you know um, the likelihood of finding rust is only sort of in the corners which kind of makes sense there's not much room between here and here which makes sense why the corners rust out you go why all the corners rust out well there's a lot of layers in one area and then there's nothing here or here but anyway we'll keep plodding along and we'll catch you up in a second well chaps uh, I don't mean to put this in the video and I was trying to get a hell of a lot more done but uh, if you've been following the news in the last 48 hours South Australia has managed to get itself a reasonably good uh, uh, Ixnay on the Ovid say um, outbreak and the whole state is going into lockdown Woo! so I'm not going to get much more done uh, and there goes my chances of finishing this roof uh, in the next video well in, the, in this video I was trying to actually have the whole job done in one video but unfortunately uh, uh, world events have pretty much kicked me in the pants quite spectacularly so I don't really know what I'm gonna do for my next video 
I guess obviously we'll catch you back up on the XD. Um, yeah, I've got my one last thing done before the end of the day. I'll show you that in a second. So before everything went into shutdown, I did actually get the bonnet and the door handles done. The door handles come out really, really good. And I'd, but the bonnet, yeah, yeah, it came out okay. I'll see what it's like when it with a polish, but I'm not super happy with it. I mean, it, I, I hate painting bonnets for a start. I mean, it's fine. Like, but there is trash in it. I mean, probably some people would be stoked with that, but I'm not. Um, but yeah, I guess we get to wrap up the video with a, uh, this is where we got to. At least the, uh, the XD was making progress and we got a fair way into it. But, uh, obviously the person I have doing the metal finishing for the roof, well, he's going into lockdown as well. So that's not going to get done. So you might have a slight delay between seeing from the end of this video and the next one. So, hmm. It is what it is. Sorry this video isn't um, as exciting as it could be. I'm pretty happy with that actually. Just pretty stoked with that ute. I'm really hoping that ute is going to be a cut above the rest. So, yeah, I mean, it's alright. Once I run, you know, a 2000, a 3000, and a 4000 soft pad over that and then polish it back up, I'm sure that will be perfectly acceptable. It's probably perfectly acceptable as it is, but... I don't know, it's not good enough for me. Looks fine. I guess it is fine. Oh, at least it's rockedly straight. Look at that. No dents, no bog, no nothing. So, oh well. Um, you know, I was hoping this video would be better, but I guess I might tinker with some stuff at home. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but I'll catch you up in the next episode. I'm really hoping it won't be miles before the next one. So uh, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.